What's up guys? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. So what's going on guys? Good to see you. Man, I've been sick as... Yeah, I've had the flu. I've been down about three weeks, but man, I'm back. And I'm here to tell you, I'm not really happy with the neck on that seven string. So we're going to do it again. We're going to finish the seven string in this video, but we're going to work on multiple guitars. I got one of my friends coming over today. We're going to build a couple things. We're going to sort the shop out. We're going to check out a couple new tools. We're also going to check out a new tool me and Jim made. You'll get to meet him in a minute. But before we get into the seven string, let's go back to Big D's guitar. All right, so here's what's going on. We got this killer fretboard, see it? Take a good look now. <laughs> it's going on the Big D guitar. Now I'm pretty sure if you're here watching this video, then you probably already saw the body I concocted out of the one he sent me. I was probably just supposed to put a neck on the body we already had, but it can't be scarred if you do that. Today we're worried about making the neck, routing the neck pocket, routing out the pickup cavities. What color should we stain this thing? Because it's going to one of you guys. Put it in the comments below. Put it in the comments. What color do you think it should be? Stop the video right here. Look, you know you're finna skip this next part anyway. So while you go make your comment, I'll cut the fret slots. Now, in my mind, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but I went ahead and traced it out with the fretboard template that I have. So I can just rip this with the bandsaw real quick. You ready? Let's go. Now, the reason I cut it out on the bandsaw is it's just going to be able to glue it onto the neck better without getting it twisted. You know? But uh, I think a walnut neck would be great. Let's find a piece of walnut, throw it up on CNC. <laughs> yeah, I knew that would look good with a piece of walnut behind it. Looks really good, huh? But uh, let's get this bad boy glued up. Radius up and thread it up. Boy, he had a bad day in that health camp. Now, I know you guys have seen me lay down a truss rod millions of times. We're going to do it again right here, and I'm going to take my time to go slow. We also got my boy Jim here. My body might be here, but my brain ain't. Okay, you guys know the drill. We got the quarter inch round over bit here. We're going to take it real slow. Now I've got my guide board here. What's going to happen is, is this guide right here is going to go along this rail and it's going to cut our truss rod cavity perfectly right there where the purple heartwood strip is. Let's do it. Right on the money. <laughs> That's pretty good for I am. And there you go. Stage number two. Man, look at that fretboard. That thing is sick. 
It's going to be better this time around because we're going to use some Peruvian walnut instead of that chippy Wingate. That could be a stamp or something, couldn't it? It would make a nice stamp. Wouldn't it? <laughs> Man, that snug is a bug in a rug, ain't it? Look at that. Looks good, on it? Can't beat it. You get an A. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff going on here. This is my guitar. Building some new tables. Well, this is round three on the neck. It wasn't wide enough, was it, Jim? No, the strings didn't fit. But we got it right now. He's putting the side dots in it. Then we're gonna put some frets on it. What are you doing, bro? Look, man, if you don't know by now, man, I need to get out of here. So check out the new work table. The oak slats on the bottom. But the coolest thing on this table, in my mind, isn't the new sander. It's not the new joiner. It is the truss rod jig. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Saving some time. Time saver is always a good thing. And it's perfect every time. Every time. Every time. What are you doing, broski? Now, this guitar was broken when it finally returned to my house after it got lost in the mail. And I've given Chris Nunez one of those Daryl Braun guitars. But I repaired this, and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Who's got some ideas? Anybody got any ideas? Put it in the comments what you think should happen to this guy. Because he's fat. And needs a daddy or a mommy. For sure. I got too many guitars. Somebody needs one. Who is it? We are done with the Wander 7 string. But you gotta wait till the next video to hear it play.